and welcome back to On The Workbench. Today we're taking a look at this nondescript gray box. No, I'm just kidding. We're actually looking at a set of AC manifold gauges uh, with hoses from Orion Motor Tech or OMT. This was purchased off of Amazon recently. Instead of borrowing these kind of parts here from the auto parts store, I thought it was time that I should actually own my own set of AC equipment here. And so what I went with here was a four-way setup where you can have a vacuum and your recharge tank all connected at the same time and you just have to manipulate the valves to be able to recharge it rather than having to quickly move hoses around i just think that the four-way valve systems are a little bit easier they're a little more i don't know not everyone likes them so uh, i understand some folks may disagree it's good for r134a 410a uh, r22 and i suspect some of the other little variants will probably work with this as well so what we got here we have our gauge cluster here that also has the hook at the top, like you would expect. And then we've got our gauges that read. There we go, we've got our low pressure on the left in blue, high pressure on the right in red. And then we've got at the bottom here, four ports, one, two, three, four. These come all nicely closed and cleaned up. I'll probably definitely hang on to these caps here just to keep these ports clean. It's important that these all stay clean. When you're working with AC equipment here, you don't want to have any extra sources of contamination. Then on the sides, you also got valves. So you've got one, two, three, four. So you got your, your low pressure uh, in blue, the high pressure in red. Then you got a vacuum in black and your source yellow or gold. And you can adjust your valves to be able to move that accordingly to where you need to be pulling the vacuum or be adding refrigerant. And if you get confused about how to use this valve, in the manual here, there actually is a set of directions that shows uh, how to actually connect everything together and how to be able to actually charge a system, uh, to be able to purge, monitor, and evacuate. And so all that's here. I have to say that the diagram here could probably be a little bit better. I'm not sure it's as clear as it could be, but it's not bad. It's at least acceptable. This is not made in America. It doesn't, at least I'm pretty sure it's not. It doesn't say country of origin here on the brochure, but I would guess this is not the USA. And so then we also have a can tap up here. And so this will work with the cans that have a little built-in Schrader valve or the ones that don't. It should work either way. This is the sort of screws on. There's also this little uh, lever you kind of use to squeeze it in place to hold it on. You also get the quick connect fittings for the high and the low. And you can uh, just snap those, pull that back to snap it on, and then turn your dials left to right. All of these have stickers indicate the open and closed direction, including the manifold. It'd be nice if that would have been like laser retched on there, or printed in there better rather than using stickers. I think they got a little bit cheap on that, but we'll give them a pass on that because it's not too hard to figure out open and closed directions in the first place when you're working with this. Uh, so then you also have a Schrader valve tool that's included. So if you need to manipulate the Schrader valves, uh, either on a source tank or under the hood of a car or on an AC unit, you've got that provided. And then you've got some other adapters to be able to work with various refrigerants, cans, a replacement Schrader valve in there. And you got some other bushings there to keep everything sealed up. And then in the back, we've got our hoses. And so these all come, and I appreciate this, all bagged up to keep it sealed and keep them clean. And so on the bag for the hoses here, there's a little marking chart here. It's actually not marked. I'm kind of surprised they didn't mark it here. Uh, but you can see the different uh, sets here for R12, R134, and 410A. I suspect that OMT's had a couple different gauge clusters that does not, that's not compatible with all of these. But this has our four hoses that we'll need to use. And the case even comes with a storage pouch here, a little section to put the hoses in to keep that out of the way. And that. So, one of the things that's not in here that I think you know, probably should be in here or should be in your refrigerant or AC kit if you're gonna be working with AC units. Number one, safety glasses. Always have safety glasses and gloves, but those don't usually come with tools. Uh, but so for the tool, one thing that's missing is a temperature gauge that you could put into a vent or use outside to know what your ambient air temperature is. That's very important to know what your ambient air temperature is and know what kind of pressures you, you should be expecting on your gauges. And a corollary to that, is some form of a chart that will tell you at various temperatures what your high and low pressure gauges should read. It'd be nice if they'd put that in your manual as well. They didn't. 
This is obviously going to be refrigerant specific. This is R134A, just for example here. And this chart here also happens to have just a little quick reference uh, for, for high and low to know if you add refrigerant, uh, possible faulty compressor, faulty expansion valve, uh, leak. Um, you cannot vent R134A into the atmosphere. I would hope everyone knows that. If you don't, that's very important to know. You need to have a recovery system in place for that. Or at least you can't intentionally leak it into the atmosphere. Obviously, it does sometimes when it evaporates out of your system. It would be nice for them to include a thermometer, but you could also have one of these included on your multimeter that you also might be able to connect up and have connected to your cell phone. And these charts, sometimes you can also find some cell phone apps that have charts like this available as a quick reference on your cell phone. I print out a chart to have with this little case here. I'm going to store with it because I don't like having to rely on uh, play with my cell phone while I'm working on my car. So that's just a quick look at this OMT kit. Hope you found this video useful and interesting, and have a great day. Bye.